Michelle, and I'm bringing you another episode of Looking Up. Today I want to ask you a question. Are you feeling that with everything that's going on around uh, us, all the noise in the country, in the world, um, that it's a little bit much for you? That it's the devil may be trying to get you all stirred up? Maybe it doesn't happen continually, but every once in a while something happens or someone says something or you see something or hear something that gets you all riled up inside and throws you into a tizzy, just like my Texas grandmother used to say. And oh, by the way, you may even say and do things that you regret later because of it. If this sounds familiar to you, I wanna share some good news with you. I was looking in Philippians, um, Paul's letter to the church in Philippi. And I was looking in chapter four. I fell upon the verse, Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I thought, what is Paul trying to say here? What is that peace? that we all long for. I chose to look into the three words, passeth and understanding and keep. And I wanted to find what the Greek words were, what Paul was really saying when he used those words. So passeth is actually the Greek word hooper echo. The first part of that word hooper means to stand out, to rise above to uh, be superior to, sup something that is utmost. It's beyond measure. It's unequal, incomparable. The second part of that word is an echo. And that means to have or to be in uh, possession of something. It can be translated to keep or to possess, to have or even to acquire. So when you put these words together, they are compounded into one and they form the word hooper echo. This Greek word denotes a peace so superior that it is held high above all other types of peace. It surpasses and excels and goes beyond and over the top of any other kind of peace. People may try to find peace in other places, but there is no peace like the peace of God. So this peace surpasses and excels above all understanding. I looked up the word understanding. In the Greek, it's nous. The classical Greek word is for the mind. And Paul was referring to the ability, the ability to think and to reason, to understand and to comprehend. It also depicts the mind as the source of all human emotions. Nous portrays the mind as the central control center. And to understand that the condition of the mind is what determined the condition of one's life. Then Paul tells us what powerful peace will produce in our lives. He says, this peace shall keep your hearts and minds. I looked up the word keep. In the Greek, it's phronau, a military term that expresses the idea of soldiers who stood faithfully at their post at the city gate to guard and control all who went in and out of the city. They served as gate monitors and no one entered or exited the city without their approval. The Apostle Paul uses this word to explicitly tell us that God's peace, if allowed to work in our lives, will stand at the gates of our hearts and minds, acting like a guard to control and monitor everything that tries to enter our hearts, our minds, and our emotions. When God's peace is ruling us, nothing can get past that divine guard and slip into our hearts and minds without its approval. It means you can refuse to allow the devil to access you, to throw you into a state of panic and anxiety, or to push any button inside you any longer. When the peace of God is standing guard at the entrance of your heart and mind, the devil has lost his access to your thought life and your emotions. Peace keeps fretfulness and worry and fear and all the other wiles of the devil from breaking into your life. When this peace 
is active in your life, it surpasses all understanding. It protects and it guards. It keeps and defends you. So if we take all these Greek words together, Philippians 4, 7 could be understood in the following way. Let me read it to you. And the peace of God, a peace so wonderful that it cannot be compared to any other type of peace, a peace that stands in a category by itself and rises far and goes beyond anything that the human mind could ever think, reason, imagine, or produce by itself. It will stand at the entrance of your heart and mind, working like a guard to control and monitor and screen everything that tries to access your mind, heart, and emotions. The devil may try his best to find access to your mind and emotions, but this guarding peace will paralyze his efforts. To me, that's great news. In fact, it's victorious news. I pray and encourage you to make sure Philippians 4-7 is a reality in your life. In every situation you face today and every day, let God's supernatural peace rise up to dominate your heart and protect your mind and emotions. If you're tired of the devil getting you all stirred up, and throwing you into a tizzy, it's time for you to let that supernatural peace go to work and start monitoring, guarding, and approving what does and does not get access to you. God loves you enough to put this powerful peace in your life. Be blessed in Jesus' name.